I kid you not, guys. I was like, I was literally just trying to maneuver my car. Like, I, I'm not kidding. I did two, two 360s. I swear, I literally felt like I was in the movie. I was like in like an action movie. Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel and let's hop right in back to another makeup get ready with me. So for today's topic, what was the worst thing that happened to me while I was on the road? Lord, I unfortunately have two stories for this topic not gonna lie you guys not gonna lie one of the stories happened in 2021 and then the other story happened literally last year i'm not kidding it happened like a month ago but we're gonna get into the first story this started off in i want to say around september of 2021 like i guess the beginning of the end of like yeah that year and um <clears throat> basically um i was just driving back home from school you know just the usual just got out of school and i was driving back and then next thing i know lord have mercy next thing that i know um i believe the front um passenger wheel basically decided to pop Y'all, I don't know if that's bad or not. Is that bad? I don't know. I kind of like it. Y'all, do y'all think that's bad? No? Okay, because I'm keeping it. I like it. The front um, wheel of the passenger side tire basically popped as I was driving. And mind you guys, I was in the middle lane. So obviously y'all know there's a left right lane and then there's a middle lane there's like a three-way lane and I was in the middle and my tire popped out of nowhere and basically I was just trying to maneuver my wheel and I was like freaking out because I was like dang I don't know what to do what had happened was basically I had to get my car off of the road obviously and I had to turn into a neighborhood somewhere and didn't realize as I was turning into the right lane and didn't realize there was another car behind me beeped at me and I was like dang I'm sorry like I don't think that car or that driver um didn't know that like fam my my tire literally just popped you know what I mean so I don't think that driver was aware of what was going on. Obviously not because everyone focuses on themselves while they're driving. But yeah, y'all, my tire just popped. So I was freaking out. Pulled into a neighborhood, was safe and sound, thank the Lord. Um, and then this lady, uh, a few minutes later, this lady decided to come and help. And in all honesty, I kind of wish I said that I didn't need help because, Jesus. I mean, at first I thought this lady had um you know my best interest I guess she did but at the same time she didn't because some things were pretty questionable like when my mom called me just to see if I was okay because I called her you know literally right after I pulled in she, the lady basically said that I had to hang up on my mom and at the time I did it and I don't know why you guys that was so dumb of me to do like literally like that was the dumbest thing I could have ever done I was just traumatized I unfortunately listened to her and this lady didn't help at all she thought she could change my tire with the spare tire on the back and um because you know my car has that turns out it turned really really bad she tried to get people from her neighborhood to help I guess replace that tire with my spare tire because I had a, you know, most cars come with a spare tire. Mine did. And she basically tried to, I guess, switch out the tires and it went wrong. Basically, my spare tire was the wrong size tire for my front tire. And um, I guess the bolts didn't fit correctly. And I was like, this lady, this lady, 
So at the end of that little story, it costed me $500 just to get that tire refixed. Not gonna lie, I was heated because I had to pay $500 and it definitely wasn't funny when it happened. Um, but it's definitely funny now because you know, the things that aren't funny, then I'm like, you know what? It's funny now. So, you know, let's just have a laugh. Second story literally happened a month ago, you guys. I'm not even kidding. It happened like last month. So what happened then was basically I was heading home from a bowling um, little hangout that I had with my friends. It was last minute and I was like, you know what? Let me come because why not? Like, why not? Why not? I was just driving back home. I was returning from the bowling alley. Um, I was at an intersection and I was, you know, I was turning left. So as I was turning, I have no idea if I turned in too sharply or not. I don't know what happened, you guys. Some happened. Maybe I did turn in my wheel too sharply. My left um, wheel in too sharply. My left back wheel popped as I was turning in left. As I was turning left because I think I was just turning in way too sharply. Out of nowhere, I started turning. I kid you not, guys. I was like, ur, ur, ur. I was literally just trying to maneuver my car. Like, I, I'm not kidding. I did two, two 360s. I swear, I literally felt like I was in the movie. I was like in like an action movie during that time because like I, my wheel was turning in so fiercely. Like it was insane, you guys. I promise you, you cannot make this stuff up. You can't make it up. My car is spinning now. Car spinning, car spinning. Two 360s. After the 360s are done, my um, the back of my car ends up on the sidewalk because at that intersection, well, on that road, when you turn into the intersection, there's a sidewalk on the left side of the road. So basically my car backed into that. Then I was like, okay, well, dang, now what do I do? So I was like, okay, let me maneuver my car and let me go into a neighborhood again. And I was praying it was not going to be like the last time where like a crazy uh, person wants to help me. And then they're like, uh, let me just try to fix the car. And I'm like, yo, I had this experience once. Let me not try to have it again. Even before I went into the neighborhood, it was traffic hour too, y'all. Like, dang, traffic hour, really? But yeah, it was just crazy. And like, I'm not kidding. Once that happened, everybody stopped because it was like, you know, no one else wanted to obviously get in an accident. I'm glad that I'm okay. All the other cars that were driving on the road at that time were okay too. So basically all in all, I got into an accident with myself. If that makes sense. Like no one crashed into me. I didn't crash into any other car, surprisingly, even though I literally did two 360s, two 360s, like literally no one crashed into me, thankfully. And yeah, I mean, won't, won't God do it? At the end of it, call my mom, obviously. Got a tow truck, had to pay 125, but it's okay. You know, um, I don't know if I'm the queen of just accidents on the road. I don't know. I don't know if someone's out to plan it on me, but that's what happened basically. So yeah, y'all, those were the two worst things that happened to me on the road so far. I hope that those are the only two bad things. Yeah, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video because I was really embarrassed by saying it, but I was like, you know what? It happens to the best of us. Thank y'all again for watching this video and clicking on it. I hope that y'all have an amazing Monday, an amazing week, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.